Mr. Blumenthal, to be followed by Ms. Gladys House. How you doing? Um, <clears throat> I'm with PUSH. I came here last fall. PUSH is Public Use Skate Parks for Houston. And uh, I talked about the need for the public skate park, the Central Skate Park Project. And um, the reason I'm coming back now is that we've had, we've had uh, uh, we're at a crossroads, so to speak. We've decided that uh, June 30th is when all fundraising will commence for the skate park. We've raised um, somewhere between five and $600,000 privately. And um, the skate park is, for those who don't know, is located uh, on the west side of Sabine, right at uh, Memorial and Sabine, and uh, across from the Fondy Rec Center. Um, but the, the big thing about coming out here today is I want to make sure you all are aware that, that we have about five months to finish our fundraising. We need about another million dollars. It's a Houston Parks Board project, and um, they've been real successful. But PUSH is the grassroots organization of young and old skateboarders and, and uh, parents of skateboarders and spouses of skateboarders and people who just want Houston to be cooler. So we're adamant that this park be a world-class facility. If we don't reach our goals, then we'll have to downsize it. And, you know, me following a dog park is a perfect example. Houston does have a lot of dog parks. And it kind of shows a priority of where we are with our young people. We've got 600,000 people in Houston proper per the last census that are under 19. This is the third most popular sport for, for people of that age group. It's the number one sport that women between the ages of 13 and 24 most want to learn. And that's three years in a row. So, you know, Houston needs to understand way behind the country there's thousands of public skate parks. This park we have designed along with Grindline out of Seattle um, Washington is will make it one of the finest public skate parks in the country and skateboarding is not what you used to think of it as it is going to be an Olympic demonstration sport in Beijing in 2008 so this will be the first in ground public skate park and I guarantee you it'll be the most popular sport per square foot I mean popular park per square foot we expect it's probably about 30 35,000 square feet and we expect 200 skaters probably on an average Saturday, even though it could probably handle 100, um, and hundreds of onlookers. So this will have huge uh, economic opportunities for companies, that, the Fortune 1000 that want to court this demographic. But, you know, if you look at what's going on in Houston, you got a $100 million downtown park going in that's not focused on youth, and you got a, say, a $2 million public skate park that's focused on our youth. It's our biggest demographic. I know it doesn't offer a lot of political capital uh, to Houston, but these are the people y'all are supposed to be the fiduciaries for. And there's been a couple of modular parks, but those are the equivalent of eight-foot basketball goals. All right. Chair recognizes Council Member Lovell. Thank you. Barry, I want to thank you. I know you've been working on this now. We all have for, you know, a couple of years, more than a couple of years. And you said you're... You're still a million short of your, the goal, because I know when we first started out, our goal was a million dollars. Yeah, that's, can that's you a, explain sort of why we jumped out now, where it's more? Unfortunately, the park has been on the table for five years, and uh, PUSH has been involved for a year and a quarter. <coughs> As you know, when you fill up your tank, inflation's been dramatic, especially when it comes to shock Creek and rebar, and, and inflation has basically doubled. So it's, a, it's actually a smaller park than we originally planned, but because of costs and everything, that's where we're at. And, and that's why June 30th we've decided finally if Houston doesn't get it, then, you know, we'll have to downsize and, and the youth will suffer. Um, I don't expect the city of Houston to come up with money here. I just want everyone to know that we need everyone's help. And if it becomes in-kind in donations, you know, everyone knows people and they're, this isn't about one specific district, uh, Adrian Garcia's district. It's about all Houstonians wanting to make Houston a cooler place to live and create some quality of life because this facility will bring the sensation of surfing on the North Shore of Oahu or snowboarding in the high country of Colorado, but it'll be free. And this sport will continue to grow. And right now, the way Houston's set up, it's probably the most dangerous city to skateboard in because it's all being done on the street. Now, I, I, you know, I have skateboarders at my house, I understand. Um, but part of this, we can um, also go out and 
bring in competition, of which it will bring people to the city that will want to stay at our hotels or will spend. So it's really a revenue generating facility also, other than being something that some of our youth need. And, and we have put up skate parks around the city. I know Council Member Lawrence's, they have one up there on Watonga that's, that's very nice. But this is taking it to a different level, right? And also bringing in competitive sports into the city because there's a lot of competition. Yeah, you hit the nail on the head. It, it, this is unique in that you can help us do the right thing and it's great for our youth. But unlike a lot of these parks in the city, this is going to bring back real dollars to the city. Besides events like the Mountain Dew Games or the X Games even, you're talking about people that will come from, it'll be a global destination based on how we have it designed. So there'll be people coming from all over, not to mention, you know, everyone wants to know how to get people from the woodlands to come to downtown parks. Well, they'll go places where their kids want to go. And so this will bring real business opportunities, not to mention there'll be commercial shot at a facility like this. So you can imagine a skyline of Houston being shot with kids actually being active. Um, that'll huge, have a huge impact on our image. Well, I want to thank you, and please don't give up. And everybody we've talked to, we've presented the fact they could brand this park like all of the sports facilities are branded. Truthfully, um, you know, I love sports, and my kids play sports, but um, uh, doing what they do on a skateboard is really very difficult, far more difficult, I think, than what you do in any other sport. So it would be nice to have that kind of facility here. Chair recognizes Councilmember Garcia. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Very good to see you. Uh, let me ask you, is there anything from, uh, you know, I guess from a standard process that the city uh, can be doing to help facilitate uh, your efforts? You know, um, like I said, the Parks Board is working real diligently to raise the money. We're working diligently. Um, but there's a lot of in-kind donations. We're going to have specialized construction workers come in from, from uh, the Northwest. We'll need lodging. I mean, there's a lot of in-kind things that can bring the cost down. And um, the bottom line is the park will be built in 07. It's just the size and, and if we're able to really do it so that it's as special as we planned on. Got you. One, one thing that I would probably ask you to give some, uh, some thought to, uh, especially the comment you made about some specialized construction. Uh, and I, you know, this is not for our, our dialogue, but just to think about that where we have been able to help uh, private projects is where there are infrastructure uh, issues that maybe need to be done anyway that are tied to the project that we can, that we can uh, possibly help to take off of your ledger uh, and keep on the city's end. So give that some thought to see if, if there's some aspect of your project line that, uh, you know, is probably better done by the city versus off on your, on your side uh, that maybe can help you uh, meet your goal much faster. Uh, it may, it's not cash, but it's something that, you know, let's say, I don't know if you're, uh, I, I think some of these parks have a drainage attachment to them. Maybe that's something that we can help with that can shave some, something off of your, your, uh, your ledger. It's not a commitment, but it's just you know, some thinking that we can probably do together. Is this something that your office would be involved in? Sure. Okay. All right. Well, thanks a lot for your time. Thank I appreciate you. Thank it. Thank you. Okay, Ms. Gladys.